Check out this rat tail. Maybe we should braid it. <laughs> hey guys, today's video is ratchet. Kind of a ratchet nail and hair and just like life day. We're gonna get through it and we're gonna look better by the end of it. Today's video is a first impression on a foundation. This is the Givenchy Tint Couture Long Wearing Fluid Foundation. And I tried to do a first impression on this like I don't know, a couple days ago, but got as far as putting it on the back of my hand and then I ended up having to like rush out the door, even put the foundation on. So this is a second first impression. So this foundation comes in like a glass packaging. It looks really pretty. Um, I kind of hate this chrome top though because like I've touched it like twice and it's just like fingerprints everywhere. Also, you don't really get that much. I mean, it's a pretty expensive product and it only has 0.8 fluid ounce, which normal foundations usually have like one fluid ounce. So you get less and you end up paying more. Um, by the way, the only reason I bought this was because I had a gift card, otherwise like, Youth and this foundation said that it was good for pretty much all skin types, even oily because it is so long wearing. I have the shade One Elegant Porcelain, which is the palest shade that you can buy. I'm not gonna wear any primer or powder when I try this out because I just like to see how it goes on its own and then give you a recommendation if I think it does need a primer or does need a powder. But I am just going to moisturize my skin and I'm using the Clinique Dramatically Different uh, moisturizing gel, which if you haven't tried it, just do yourself a favor and try it. Also, I hope you guys don't mind like my new setup. Like, I know this is like really boring and it's like not ideal at all, but <sighs> where I live right now, I do not have a space. Like, I'm in my living room right now, taking up literally like couldn't even get into my living room right now. Okay, so I just pumped that out on the back of my hands. And I'm gonna use this Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56 from Sephora to apply this. And I've really been feeling the whole dipping the brush in the foundation and then applying to the face recently. Um, I don't know why. I feel like you probably waste more product doing this, but I like the finish of it so much better than like dotting it on your face, you know? It does have like a bit of a scent, I will say that. Like, it's not like, florally or like old lady or anything. It's kind of like fresh actually. So with one light layer I have on this side versus nothing on this side, I have to say it's pretty light coverage. Got a little bit more coverage with the sponge, but it's kind of hard to blend, touch it onto your skin, like it kind of dries there. So when I first dotted all those dots there, like they almost like instantly like dried and stuck to my face. So you couldn't really blend them out very well. It set instantly, like it's so smooth and so soft. A pretty like matte uh, texture as well. Like it looks like a slight bit of powder finish. I do think it did like an, a pretty good job at like actually blurring my pores for a bit more of a close up. I just think it looks really, really good. I mean, this is obviously not a uh, high coverage foundation. Like I wouldn't recommend this to anybody who has like some serious stuff to cover up. Obviously the test of time for me is like how long it's gonna last because I do have uh, combo oily skin and oftentimes like it starts transferring and getting shiny within just like an hour or so. So I will check back in with you guys later after I do the rest of my makeup and we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you very quickly what it looks like after two hours. Just put a little bit of makeup on and this little shine here is like a highlighter. So that is not anything. Honestly, it looks really, really nice. Um, and up close, and up close I would say it still looks really good too. I think it actually looks better now than when I first applied it. So I just wanted to give you a very quick close up. No transfer, no oil, no like super creasing anywhere, and yeah, looks really good. So I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the night. Hey guys, it is the end of the night. I've been wearing the foundation for over eight hours, and let's just take these off. So, I mean, ignore the glasses lines, of course, but other than that, like, I'm 
I'm so impressed with how this looks. I mean, it's not absolutely perfect. Like, I'll, I won't give it that. Like, it's like crusted up a little bit in like a couple areas, mostly like between my brows and like right here. I mean, nothing that you can really notice. And as far as like oiliness, like, I'm gonna say pretty much none. By the way, this lipstick is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Morocco. I wore this, I just filmed my 2016 yearly favorites, so watch out for that. Anyway, I guess that'll be the end of this video. I think my overall impression of this foundation is that it is very long wearing, zero transfer, does pretty good on oily skin at least up until about the eight hour mark. Like light medium coverage with a pretty matte finish. I would say if you have a lot of peach fuzz on your face, you might not like it. And if you have a lot of like uneven skin texture, you might not like it. But I think for everybody else, this is a great foundation. Obviously the price is a little problematic because I don't think I would repurchase this, but I do actually really like it. So if you have the money and it just sounds like something that you'd wanna go for, I would say, yeah, go for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.